Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn how to fork a project in GitLab and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will go very basic step by step and we will see what is a fork or what is project forking and how to fork a project. So before I go with step one, let us understand this. A fork is a copy of a project in very simple words and when we say forking a project or a repo so this allows to make changes without affecting the original copy or the original project so whenever you want to make some changes to the project and you do not want to uh, change anything in the original copy you can create a fork that is you can create a copy and then make your changes and later on you can merge with the original project as well so here step number one will be so let me write down the steps here as well step number one here is login to your GitLab account and go to your project so I will go to my GitLab, I will log in. So I'll go to gitlab.com and sign in or log in with your credentials. And then we will go to our project. So as of now, I have a single project here. I will go here. You can also go from here, click on the projects and you will see your projects here and then you can go to your projects from here as well. So once you are on your project, step number two will be click on the fork button so here on your project you will see this button here that says fork, you can just go and click on this fork button and then uh, here I'm getting a message no available namespace to fork the project so here if you get this let us see this one as well if you get a message like this then what you have to do is you can go to your groups here on the top menu you will see groups go here click on your groups and here once you are on the groups screen you will see a new group button here click on new group and here just say uh, anything uh, let me just use the same thing that was suggested my awesome group anything you can give here and if you want to give some description or choose some image or avatar you can do this if you want to keep it private or public and then just say create group uh, there is some error let me see what's the error the group URL has all been taken uh, yeah so of course this is something very common so let us just say my creative group Okay, I have to change the URL here and let us see if this is available yeah this is available so this group is now created and now I will go back to my project and here I will again click on fork button here and now you can see it is asking me to select a namespace so I will select this my creative group that I just created and let us see what happens now and you can see the project is forked successfully so you can see here it says the project is successfully forked and now this is forked uh, you can also create merge request later on so for example on the copy of the project I can make some changes and once I'm done with my changes I can create a merge request to merge my changes with the original branch and here I can say new merge request 
and I can select the source branch and the branch name the source project and the branch name let us say master and the target branch which is my original project and the branch and then I can say compare and continue and if there will be any changes it will compare and then it will show me as of now it will not there will not be any changes because we have not added anything in the copied or the forked project you can also assign it if you have a team you can assign it as of now I do not have a team and then you can submit the merge request it will go to that person he can analyze the changes and then can submit it back so this is how you can do a forking of the project or create a copy of the project I hope this session was very useful for you in case you have any doubts or any questions please do write them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer you as soon as I can and please to share your knowledge with others and thank you so much for watching